Boris. Hi. It's been like uh, five, six months since I've last seen you, hasn't it? Yes. Hmm. How have you been? Good. <laughs> Good. Thanks. I miss you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, because it's Black History Month, uh, I wanted to tell you the story of a black scientist. Oh, right. Thank you. Okay. And I, I, I cut your hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> May Jemison was one of the most influential black uh, scientists of all time because he was the first black female astronaut in history. He was born in October 1956 in Alabama, Mississippi. And uh, growing up, she experienced segregation. She was inspired by a black female actor on Star Trek growing up uh, to become an astronaut. So uh, she went to Morgan Park High School and graduated at the age of 16 because she was very smart. Uh, after that, she went to Stanford, Stanford. And after graduating from Stanford, she went to Cornell Medical School, uh, where she studied for a few years before joining some doctor associations. She served in the Peace Corps uh, as a medical officer, helping other officers of the Peace Corps from 1983 to 1985. Uh, uh, in a few years, she applied to NASA and was one of 15 out of the 2,000 that applied that got accepted for the astronaut training program. Uh, she <coughs> persevered throughout the astronaut training and eventually uh, became the first black woman to fly on a space mission. And this space mission was named Endeavor. Uh, and they flew on a spacecraft named STS-47. STS-47 in September 1992. Crew included the first African-American female to fly in space, astronaut Mae Jemison. I think the important thing is for people to understand and to know that yes, we, are, we do have and are willing to accept women and minority as a, minorities as astronauts. After her retirement from NASA in about 1996, she set up many organizations to inspire others to be uh, from minorities to be just like her. She has a great story. She's 66 today. Mm -hmm.